Another project here I have. I'm using the Halloween fabric. <laughs> I got it long time ago and I don't know. I never use it. So this is long and this is 7 inches wide, 24 inches long all the way. 24 okay and then I also cut the fab um, the interfacing right here I use lightweight interfacing and I cut six and a half in by 22 inch and a half okay so now you go into place because the table my table is not it's long but the camera is not going to be able to show the whole thing so let me just um, try my best to zoom it out a little bit So you can see, okay, well, it's just basically it's that. And then you go on to place the interfacing. Um, fold this fabric in half. Fold the fabric in half. Midway mark. You can see the mark right in the center right there. And then the interfacing, you go on to fold it in half. Mark the center, and then after that, you go on to place the sandy side at the sticky side down to the center right here. You go on to iron around this all around. Okay, so let's do measurement. <laughs> it's long, so I have to roll this up like this. Okay, I'm gonna go from the right over. The first one I'm going to mark. It's five inches. You can draw the line. Connect the line if you want to. Next one in an in one inch. Connect. And then six inches. And I'm going just to cut a little bit right here. Sometimes I I fold and in the other side I don't see so I cut a little bit just a tiny bit you don't cut a lot that you feel guilty okay so I'm gonna put the ruler here mm -hmm. Move over. I'm gonna put the ruler here and I'm folding this down when you folding this down everyone make sure the two sides or even take the ruler all press go into the other side the six inches right here bring it up to the mark right here that the one inch Make sure it lie up side by side and press. You don't need to do much, you just press. And then after that, you go going to bring this up to meet with the fold right here. Make sure it lie up on the side and lie up on the fold here. Go into the front. This is what I have. The fold that I have one fold and two fold. I'm going to open this up. You go on the top stitch on this fold and top stitch on this fold. Everyone, after I top stitch on the fold, I'm going to put this back on. Go back. 
to the full. You're going to start sewing this line and on this. So everyone, after I sew on the two sides here, I am going to place the lining fabric over. So I cut the lining fabric in the same side of this um, of the main with this seven inches by nine inch and a quarter. Turn into this side so you can see. We have the fold here and the fold here, and then on the top, it's only have this two on the top. So go and um, clip it all around. Go into this side so I can show you the different when you sew. Okay. Very easy. You, you make something complicated, it's very hard for you to sell at any sale place. Okay, so now you go on to sew, but you leave it here about three inches open or two. So follow the interfacing and sew it out down here. Follow the interfacing and sew all the way up to here and to here and stop. Leave this open so you can inside out. Everyone after I sew on a row and I left it here two and a half or three inches are up to you. So we're going to trim around this corners right here. I'm gonna just do that. And then at the area where the flap, I'm not gonna cut, I'm just cut a little bit outer away from that. And then the corners. On here you can fold it down too if you want or you can wait until you after you inside out every little fabric you cut you save it you can do something else in the future now I'm going to inside out this funny so after I inside out it's gonna look like this okay then you go on to put your hand finger right here and then right here you're gonna do one more time pushing this out this way you have it's a two pockets like that make sure you poke the corners out Like that on this area put your finger in there and pull at the same time and then press just so you know a lot of people are asking me like why I use interfacing for the um, wallet or, or handbag because it keeps the shape better. If you only use the fabric, it's not going to stay well. Alright, so now go and iron the whole thing. So after you iron and everything, get inside out. This is look like this. It's one pocket here and then one pocket here. So cute. So you go on to top stitch. You can go top stitch the whole thing, but I don't think the need of this. So you go on to go on this side right here. Go on this way, go around the top, and go on the side. So now I top stitch the whole top one right here. I'm going to fold it in half just to mark the center. I am using the magnet, the one that I sewed in. So from the center, I'm going to go in three quarter of an inch. 
when you fold down you're going to make sure it ends here okay when you fold that just mark right there and it mark an inch just like that now you can iron this so you can have the flap is staying extra like that you don't want to go close to this okay you want to go down an inch extra just like so okay and now i'm going to sew the button i have the magnet button that i use many 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 times and if you want to purchase that check in my description for it so i'm using this one right here one sew on one side and the other sew the other side I like to sew this right here, sew it in there with four holes like that, and then when you're done, you go on to fold it down when you already marked out like that. When you fold it down, you can have the other side for the button, and then you place it in here, and you sew. When you sew, you're going to make sure you place your hand under the pocket and sew in and out, in and out. You don't want to sew through the second pocket. I'm finished everyone after I sew on the button. That is so cute. And let's see the side it's five inches and the long it's um almost six and a half inches. First I'm gonna put the credit card whatever card you use you can just put in here it go all the way like that. You can put some money if you bring cash or whatever. You can put on the side here yeah, you want to. Add that just like so. It is so perfect. Look at that, everyone. Isn't that so easy? In the future, I'm going to share with you how to make the VM, the wallet, only use one piece of fabric. Okay, and then when you're done, you can just do that and it snap close it's beautiful stay safe everyone thank you so much for watching like share and subscribe